Hey what's up this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials and in this video we're going to take that contact form that was given to us when we installed Drupal and we're going to add an extra field and we're going to show you what you can do to modify the display and the function of that form. Let's get going on that now. So on our site we have our contact us form and with the Drupalite this just exists. In previous versions of Drupal, you'd have to install a module, you'd have to create your own form, but in this version of Drupal, Drupal 8, we have a form here. So what can this form do? Let's actually hover over this and we can see we just have the title and we don't necessarily have easy access to edit this, but what we do have is an edit button up here. So what do we do to get to this? Well, let's come to structure and let's click on contact forms. Now we have a website feedback. So let's go ahead and click edit here. If we want to change the name, we can change the name from website feedback to something like uh, contact us. Now it matches the page title. We can have an auto reply where it can immediately send a user an email saying thank you uh, for filling out this form. We'll get back to you soon or something like that. Now recipients is where you add the emails that this goes to. For instance, this email is going to head to scotttolinsky at gmail.com. So it's going to send right to me. It's going to send an email right to me. You can have multiple emails just by specifying with a comma and we just have a wait and we have a make this the default form. Right now it is the default form. Let's click save. So we now have our contact us form, but I'm not totally satisfied. Let's come back and click edit. Now what we have here is we have manage fields, manage form display, and manage display. Let's click manage fields. I want to go ahead and add a new field. Let's add a field. Let's just make this a text field. So let's scroll down. We can find text and it can be just a short plain text. So we can just select text plain. The label can just be name. So this is going to be somebody's name. Let's click save and continue. And maximum length, sure. We can leave all this stuff as is. So we now have the name field. And we can make this a required field if you want. We can click save settings. Now we have this name field. If we head to our store, let's actually just come to the home page. Uh, back to site here. Let's come to contact us. We can keep these both open at the same time so we can come back and forth. You see we have email address, subject, message, and name is way down here. Obviously we'd rather have the name be above the subject. That way you can fill out the subject of this message, uh, who it's from, and the message. So let's come to manage fields and we want to add manage form display here. Now this is going to allow us to drag these around. So we can drag this up just beneath subject. And we have sender email here. We can make this visible and hidden. We have sender name here. We can make this visible or hidden. Let's go ahead and just make that hidden. And the send copy to sender is all fine. And if we save this, you can now see when we refresh our contact page, we now have your email address, subject, name, message, send yourself a copy if you'd like. But basically we have this new field. We chose where to go and now Drupal is just going to sort of know what to do and it's going to throw that and format it into our email message accordingly. So that's really nice. In the past, forms have always been a super huge pain in Drupal. And now this, having this built in, this form, manage forms, it's nice and easy. It's not the most robust form system. We can't send multiple emails. We can't use the value of an email, to, the value of a select list to send to a different email or something like that. There's still always going to be the need for more custom web form modules. However, this default solution is definitely a great solution for the default form settings. It's not too complex and offers just enough functionality. Everything looks great and it's now ready for prime time in our website just like how we would want it. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, if you comment on the video, hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. 
If you want to purchase the rest of these videos before they're released, head over to store.leveluptutorials.com. Or if you just want to help support the creation of free tutorials, there's 800 some plus free tutorials at the time of recording this video, and I'm hoping to record 200 more this year. So if you want to help support, head over to store.leveluptutorials.com and spend some money. I would really appreciate it. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.